everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today with a short video for you about some of my favourite pattern releases that have come out recently. Before we get started, I'm wearing my Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress, which I absolutely love. It is made in this beautiful tensile lawn, which is a Lady McElroy fabric from Lamarzi. I've made three of the indigo dresses now and two of the indigo tops. And I think next time I make it, I am actually going to size up. This is the size four. I've made the size four in all of the others as well. And they're great, but now I'm pregnant and my chest has increased in size. It's feeling a little bit snug around the top. So I think I will probably size up to a size five just around this area. I might even keep the size four skirt portion because that is really, really roomy anyway. And there's plenty of room for my growing bump. Before we start talking about the patterns then, I just want to say a big thank you to anyone that has donated to my Ko-fi page so far. I'm almost halfway or about halfway to my target. I would love some more support if you are able to offer any, it would be wonderful. I'd love to reach my goal of being able to buy my own vlogging camera so I can bring you more content and I can be a bit more independent in the way that I film my videos. So we will leave a link to my Kofi account down below and you can go and support me by buying me a coffee, an imaginary coffee that will actually go towards my goal of purchasing a vlogging camera. So thank you in advance if you are able to do that. So let's get on. There've been some lovely pattern releases in the sewing community in recent weeks, but three have really, really caught my eye. And actually two of them I've purchased. I'm holding off on the other one. I'm being good for now. So I'm going to start with one that I actually bought today and it's by Friday Pattern Company and it's the Adriana dress. So on the website, it's described as an easy to sew dress that makes a big impact. So I love that already, easy to sew and it does look really simple. So that's a winner for me. This is a pull on A-line shift dress that features large statement sleeves brought in at the shoulders and wrists with elastic. So you can see that in the dress there. It's quite a simple shape in the bodice skirt area, but the sleeves are where the big impact is. The neckline's high at the front and slightly dropped in the back. I really like that. I do like to show off a little bit of back rather than anything at the front, so that's great for me. The dress can be sewn up in a day and worn on the dance floor all night. I'm not sure I'll be wearing it on the dance floor, but I love it. So the size range on this pattern is fantastic. It goes from an extra small up to a 4X, which is a really good range. It's aimed at beginners and upwards. It's designed for woven fabrics and also 5% of proceeds of this pattern actually go to charity, which is wonderful. Depending on the size that you make and the width of your fabric, you're going to need anywhere from around two to three and a half meters of fabric to make this. Fabric suggestions that are given for this dress are silk, rayon, linen, lightweight cotton, and many more. So I've got loads of fabric right there in my fabric stash that would be perfect for this dress. The main reason that I actually bought this dress and why it was completely sold to me was a girl that I follow or a lady that I follow over on Instagram called Charlene. Her Instagram handle is so so dressmaking, so S O S E W dressmaking. She patent tested for this dress and has made three incredible versions. She's written a blog post on them with photographs, so I'll link that down below. You can go and check them all out. But I absolutely adore all three. I particularly love the one that I would probably wear, the black version that she made in a Lady McElroy fabric, but she also made a stunning one in Gucci deadstock fabric, which is just incredible. I mean, look how beautiful that is. So yeah, I would highly recommend going and checking out Charlene's blog and her Instagram. That's what really sold the pattern to me. So I purchased this today. It is a PDF pattern. And if you use the code Adriana, you get 20% off at the moment. So I don't know how long that runs for. So maybe snap it up before it's too late. The next pattern that has really caught my eye, and again, is one that I have purchased, is a sew over it pattern, and it's the Farrah jumpsuit. Now this is quite unusual for me because I don't really make many sew over it patterns at all. In fact, I've never made one for myself. I've only made one and that was for my mum, that was a heather dress. Other than that, I've made no sew over it patterns. They just don't really appeal to me. They haven't for a while. I haven't really 
been drawn to any of them. But this is just right up my street. I absolutely love this pattern. So it's described as a jumpsuit. I'd definitely say it was more of a boiler suit, but it's got quite a feminine edge to it, which is perhaps why they call it a jumpsuit rather than a boiler suit, I don't know. But I really, really love this pattern. So on the website, they describe it as a fun, on-trend boiler suit that's sure to be your favourite weekend outfit in one. Great for day casual to night glamour. It looks just as fabulous worn with trainers as with heels. I'd probably wear it with trainers. <laughs> I am a fan of trainers. Whether you're curvy or more straight up and down, with its cinched in waist, Farrah suits a wide range of figures. It conforms to the body without being skin tight, meaning you feel stylish yet comfortable. So it features a button up front, a collar and collar stand, patch pockets with pocket flaps, drop shoulder sleeves, tapered legs and an elasticated waist. So it's designed to be loose fitting in the bodice for an oversized modern feel and then cinched in at the waist with a closer fit on the hips. They describe it as an intermediate and up level pattern and I can see why it's got lots of features that are quite advanced such as the collar and collar stand and the button placket. So definitely you'd need a bit more experience to have a go at those things. Also getting the fitting right on the trousers would be a bit more of an intermediate skill, I would say. The fabrics that they suggest are medium weight woven fabrics such as corduroy, stretch denim, cotton twill, cotton drill, twill crepe and heavier linens. So I think it would look really lovely depending on what fabric you use as to whether you get a more casual look or a more evening look or a more utility style look. The sizes it comes in is, is a UK size 8 to 20, so it's not the widest range. It doesn't go up far enough in terms of their sizes, I would say. But I have heard on the grapevine that that's something they're working on this year, is increasing their size range. So I really hope that's true, just to make them more inclusive. Yeah, so I purchased this as part of the Sew Over It PDF Club. If you don't know about the PDF Club, it is something that you can sign up to for a year. It's every year and then you sign up again. It only costs £6.50 and when you sign up you get a free PDF pattern of your choice from the Sew Over It website which is great and then you get early access to each new PDF release. They release a new PDF pattern every month, you get access to it a week before the wider public. You also get membership to a private Facebook group where you can discuss your makes and talk about your progress and things like that and you also get 10% off the new pattern release. So I purchased this while I had the 10% off code, which was great. However, it's not really baby bump appropriate. I did put a message in the PDF Club group just to ask the question and see if anybody had any thoughts on whether I could adapt it for my growing bump. And actually Nicole, who works at Sew Over It, wrote me a lovely long message just sort of explaining why she didn't think it was suitable and why I should probably wait until after the baby. And I completely agree with her after sort of the thoughts that she gave me. So I really appreciated that honest feedback rather than just trying to get me to make it now. But I did actually still buy it anyway. I'll just be waiting until after baby to be making this. So the final pattern that I have been loving that's been released recently is, of course, the new Tilly and the Buttons pattern and it is the Bobby Pinafore and Skirt. So if you love the very famous Cleo Pinafore by Tilly and the Buttons, you might like this version. It's sort of an elevated version with more details and more fitting to it. It's described on their website as a gorgeous button down skirt and pinafore with multiple super cute pocket options to choose from. And we know we all love pockets. <laughs> She's the ultimate wardrobe superhero as she manages to be both enduringly classic and bang on trend at the same time. So it's got modern utility style details that make it modern and quite current. Again, it's described as having a flattering shape thanks to the fitted curved waistband and princess seams on the back skirt with the hem falling above the knee. The button down front feels modern whilst also giving a nod to both the 70s and 90s. The bib is quite slim, so it's quite a small bib, which is lined. It's got crossover straps and it's got an optional flat pocket on that bib. Obviously on both the skirt and the pinafore you can either use a contrasting top stitching thread to really stand out or you can just use a matching thread to hide any dodgy top stitching or just to blend in anyway with the fabric. This is available as a PDF and as a printed pattern and it's available in UK sizes 6 to 24. 
This is a bit of a wider range than sew over it like I mentioned earlier. The fabrics that are suggested are medium to heavyweight woven fabrics that hold their shape. So you don't want anything drapey. You want something like a denim, corduroy, cotton canvas, drill, velvet even. You don't need to have any stretch in your fabric but it could make your skirt or pinafore extra comfy if it had a little bit of stretch. So you can see from the different photos that we've been putting up that it does look really different depending on what fabric you use. You can see some of the model pictures. There's some that are made in lovely chunky corduroy. There's one made in a lovely mustard denim. And also there's a skirt version made in a cotton canvas, which is really beautiful as well. The models both look amazing, but I particularly love Megan. So Megan is Pigeon Wishes over on Instagram. And she actually used to do the podcast with Gabby from Gabadashery. So they did the Stitches Brew podcast. I don't know if they've got plans to relaunch that. It would be wonderful if they did, but they're both very busy mums with young children. So I understand why that's probably not possible right now. But yeah, I think Megan is absolutely gorgeous on these photos and she just looks so happy and so thrilled to be wearing such a gorgeous outfit. If you did want to pick up the printed pattern, you can get free shipping on that from the Tilling the Buttons website with the code SHIP BOBBY but that's only until midnight on Monday the 27th of January so you haven't got very long if you did want to use that code. This is the one out of the three that I've mentioned that I actually won't be making anytime soon. I don't think it's appropriate for a baby bump. It's got that quite close fitting waistband that just wouldn't really be suitable. So I think I'll be waiting until post baby if I'm able to sew after <laughs> the birth of my baby and if I'm not just completely focused on being a mum all of the time, if I get a bit of sewing time in, this is going to be high on my list of priorities. So that is the three patterns that I have been loving recently. Let me know down below if you have purchased any of those patterns or if you've got any other new pattern releases that you would like to draw my attention to. I would love to hear about them. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to find out when my next video is going up. I hope you're all well and happy sewing. Bye. Before we start talking about the 